How's it going guys? Welcome back to today's video. We are out in the garage and we are working on the NC Miata. If you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that the NC Miata went under the knife for a little repair and uh, preventative maintenance that we did on the cam gear, or I guess cam trigger wheel is the better word to use for it. And I've just got the steering wheel recentered. Uh, had to get underneath and adjust the steering column. Probably needs an alignment to get it perfect, but I think we're in a good spot to where it should be okay for now at least. When I first moved it out of the garage, pulled it forward and it was like that, it was real bad. Um, usually I take off a different part of the steering column at the steering rack and I guess I just messed it up this time. But the car does run, it does drive. I'm making a little reveal video for you guys. I haven't forgotten. I wanted to do something a little special, a little bit more unique to kind of show you the car back in action. Just like a little cinematic style thing um, so you can see the car out and about because I'm excited to have it back. I really haven't driven it at all. Like I took it around the block, but it works, it runs, and it's pretty much back to the way it should be. But in today's video, we are going to be installing something on the underside of the car. We are installing the LRB lower aero tray, aero panel. It goes between the end of the engine, right at the back of the oil pan, and then to the first little um, structural brace thing. Uh, it's gonna be a little different, I think. Maybe we might have to do some modifications to it because I have that IO Motorsports under brace. So the little aero panel is gonna go right in this area right here to fill the gap and make things a little bit more aerodynamic underneath. At least that's what LRB claims. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take their word for it. They make some pretty good products for a lot of different cars. Um, but of course, as you see, my little brace is different than the OEM piece. So we're gonna play around with it. Maybe it'll be really easy. Maybe it'll be a little bit more time consuming, but we won't know for sure until we get it installed. So let me show you the part right here. I got this from uh, Jed. You guys might remember him. He had the blue NC that was 2.5 swap, unfortunately. It is uh, no longer around, at least with him. So thanks, Jed, if you're watching, for hooking me up with this. So this is our little panel right here, and comes with mounting points along each side. It also comes with the uh, hardware needed to install, and we are just gonna be taking a look at all this. I th I'm pretty sure he had this on his car, so Hopefully everything's here. Not a big deal if it's not. I understand used things, but it also comes with a set of instructions on how to fit it, as well as, yes, yeah, so you guys can see mine is just different. So I don't know if I'm gonna have these two little mounting points here, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna study these real quick and get it set up with these brackets and everything, and then we will go ahead and throw it in the car. There we go guys. So the IL Motorsports brace does fit with the LRB under tray. Uh, yes, there is some coolant down there. I forgot to do a, a hose on the coolant. Kind of sprayed everywhere, but there it is. 
really, really nicely made, even in a used condition. So pretty excited with how that looks. You can tell there's a little bit of a gap right here. Um, I think that's where the stock brace would probably fill in. So it's not like a perfect fit, but that's because of my IL Motorsport brace. That's not a knock on the LRB panel. Um, but yeah, there it is. Little easy install for the weekend. So gonna go inside and edit this up, post it out tomorrow. But yeah, super excited about this. I like it, just one more little thing to add to the Miata. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Shorter video today, but wanted to get the content out there for you. I am back on my schedule. I have this like um, spreadsheet that I use to schedule videos and, and plan for them. The days I install, edit, all that stuff, and really fell off of it. So I do apologize that there was a lack of videos. Um, but yeah, so I mean, lots of things going on. I think I mentioned in the golf video the other day that uh, my whole family was sick with you know what, and it's just been super chaotic. So excited to be back on that for the holidays. I'll have a little bit more time uh, with some PTO days for work that I'll be able to get out here and work on the car and make videos for you guys. So the best way to support me is to go down below and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.